We are here with uh, Newman head wrestling coach Ryan Smith on virtual media day for MIAA wrestling. First off, give us your outlook for the 2013-14 season. Well, Tim, I think um, you know this is my sixth year here uh, this year, and I, I can honestly say I think we're the the strongest we've ever been from from top to bottom. We've always had some key guys in certain areas, but this is the year that I can say we're going to be tough at 25 all the way up to heavyweight. Uh, got some strong returners, uh, Colton Derby being one of them. He'll be at 157 again this year. Had some had some key wins last year. Beat several ranked opponents throughout the year. Um, beat a tough kid at the, the first round of the regional tournament last year. Uh, just a, just an all around uh, good kid. You know, we threw him out to the Wolves as a freshman last year, and he's he's going to become he's going to come back ready to go his, his sophomore season. Uh, Reese Wright Conklin, another big name. He was in the individual rankings last year a little bit uh, last year until he got knocked out with a season-ending injury, uh, but he'll be back in the lineup this year. And then we got two returning national qualifiers that are in the mix again. Uh, both seniors, uh, Stephen Cooksley and then Lorenzo Cerna, who both, both qualified uh, not last year. Cerna was qualified his freshman year and then Cooksley his uh, sophomore year. but. Um, aiming to get him back there this year. Um, and then also we got, um, you know, Travis Rodenball, who is a sophomore this year again, another kid we threw out to the Wolves last year. So he trained, he's been training all summer long and he's, he's rolling ready to go. Uh, newbies, we got a couple D1 transfers. Um, Bobby Bowman transferred in from ASU and then Taylor Mater from Old Dominion. So a um, couple big names there. And then of course we got several other guys that are gonna impact the lineup. Uh, mentally during the season so what will your team need to do to be competitive in league play this year it, it's just like every year uh, you know being a private institution our, our our roster numbers are smaller than the public um, institutions but uh, number one thing just like anywhere every wrestling every wrestling program goes through it with battling injuries um, so staying healthy making sure we're taking care of our bodies, getting to the training room when we need to, um, and, and just just day in, day out, taking care of ourselves. Uh, and then just staying focused. You know, it's a long season. We start our season in, um, you know, preseason starts the second week of school, and, and we're going all the way to March. So it's just staying focused and, and, and having wrestling on our minds. And then just going to class. How has joining the MIAA for wrestling impacted the program? You know, it, it, it's exciting. Um, it, it's, it's fun to finally be a part of something. Um, other than the regional tournament, looking forward to that conference tournament. Um, the duels during the course of the season, it, it's, it's, really, it's really helped our travel, our scheduling. Um, I think the furthest way we're going this year during the regular season is, is to UNK. So um, it gets us out of some of those 12-hour trips we made last year. And then the MIAA, I mean, it, it's a tough conference. It's probably one of the toughest conferences um, in Division II wrestling. Um, if you look at the, if you look at the, the rankings and, um, you know, past results, MIAA's scattered all through there. So it, it's going to be fun, and we're excited to be a part of it. All right, well, thank you, Coach, and good luck on your season. Thanks, Tim.